Right then guys, Gaft is back, hopefully, sorry, hopefully, with the reveal to the uh, signed card transpo. I did actually make this video a few days ago, but for whatever reason, it just wouldn't upload to YouTube. So this is how it works. You're going to want your bottom of the box gaff. So this gaff will hide on the bottom, or it will in a minute but it gives you the ability to pull a card out the back. So you're going to want this gaff and a regular deck. So this gaff is going to start its life on the top of the box like that. Top of the deck, sorry, face down. Everything into the box and you're good to go. It is a signed card trick, very important to sign the card. Um, I'm not doing, doing it, but it needs to be signed in the real world. All right, let me just show you something crazy. Take the cards out. Put the box somewhere that's going to be handy for you in a minute to deposit the cards. I'm going to put it here. And uh, get the spectator to pick a card. You could, if you want, turn these cards over and do a Hindu shuffle. Basically, you shuffle in from the centre of the pack. Not disturbing your bottom card. So the spectator can see the cards are all mixed up. So first spectator is going to take a card. Let's say they have this one. You'll get them to sign the king. While they're signing the king, you're simply going to cut this hard card, gimmick card, to the middle, maintaining a break, a pinky break on the back. So when you get this card back that is signed, you can make it look like it's going somewhere in the middle, but in reality, it's just going above your gimmick card. Because you've got that great big break on the back, this card will lose it somewhere in the middle. As you push it in, push down, catch a break, and you're going to basically cut that card back to the top. So you should be in a position, oh, where's the card gone? I've even done it wrong myself. Right, gaff's on the top. Spectator's gonna have this card. If you can sign that card for me, you're gonna cut your card, maintaining your break. Take this card back. You're gonna make it look like it's going somewhere in the middle. It's literally just going above the gaff card so that's the signed card on top of the gaff card second spectator right as i riffle up the side just call out stop and we'll find you a card so just riffle down they'll call out stop wherever they call out stop break the cards off and show them the card they stopped on the jack of diamonds making sure you don't flash anything up here when you put these cards back together maintain a thumb break on the back all you're going to do is lift up at the break, swing cut the top portion of the cards, but you're going to steal the middle packet and take this packet back to your right hand. So as you steal the middle packet, you're taking the bottom packet back, drop everything down. At this point, you've still got the signed card on the top and the second card is on the bottom. Just with a series of cuts, you're going to get a pinky pull down on the bottom card, turn it into a thumb break, and then literally cut that card to the top so now i'm going to deposit that bottom card so now you should be in a position where you've got your gimmick card the signed first card and the spectator's second card which was on the bottom so it's going to be on the bottom you'll get a little pinky pull down thumb break swing cut the top portion of card this is remember this is the top put these two packets together momentarily depositing the bottom card and then table the cards. So to the spectator, it will kind of just look like you've given the cards a cut. Now all you're gonna do, as you've got these two cards on top, is just do any fake cuts you like. I kind of like this fake cut, because you, you could say, look, in the process of giving these cards a cut and a shuffle, I'm hoping I've brought one of your cards to the top. Now you'll just do a double lift, you can't not get this double with that hard card there. Turn over the Ten of Arts. This is a signed card. Right, there's the first card. You do another double. Place what they think is the Ten on the table. You've just switched it out. Place it on the table. Now all you'll say is the second card. You can do a cut if you want. You can say, look, the second card. We're not going to bother doing any of these fancy cuts. Now you're going to square up this packet. Place it on the top of the box. And draw attention to this card. All focus is going to be on this card. This was the signed 10. 
but with a little bit of magic it turns into the second spectator's card so they're thinking well where the hell's my card pick everything up turn the box over place the box down for a minute spread these cards out and say right find your ten of hearts was it as they're looking through these cards you'll pick up the box now the spectator is going to see exactly what you guys see pick up the box they don't see anything open up the box now the flap of the box gives you a lot of cover because you're going to pull out the card now you can see the card cut in this half moon but in the real world they're going to see this you can say look my magic is so strong i can pull a card straight out the box you can flash the bottom now there's nothing really to see and it will be the spectator's signed ten of hearts which was here now it ends up in the box so that's it guys i do hope that was clear enough and i hope i'm able to upload this bloody video so make sure to smash the like button subscribe to the gaff academy post notifications on and i'm loving this little gimmick um you know what to do if you're interested just send me an email cheers